Hey all, welcome to ShareTrek. This is Raj here. Friends, today I have some news on Illumina and Caribou Biosciences. I'm going to start with Caribou and then go on to Illumina. Uh, let's get started. Welcome back, friends. Caribou uh, announced recently that the first patient has been dosed with CB011 at dose level 1, uh, which is around 50 by 106 CAR T cells uh, in uh, their camouflage uh, phase 1 trial for adults with relapsed and uh, refractory multiple myeloma. And um, that's, the, that's the latest news. And Rachel uh, Horwitz, uh, PhD, Caribou's uh, president and chief executive officer, said, we are excited to announce the first patient has been treated with CB011 in the camouflage uh, phase one trial for relapsed and refractory multiple myeloma initiation of the camouflage trial is the first step in evaluating the safety of CB011 and assessing how our immune cloaking approach for CB011 may improve the anti-tumor activity. We continue to be humbled by the patients, their families, and the physicians who are partnering with Caribou as we develop off-the-shelf CAR T therapies that have the potential to address the needs of broad patient populations. CB011 is most likely the first allogenic CAR T cell therapy with a stealth approach that includes both removal of the endogenous beta-2 microglobulin uh, protein and insertion of a B2M uh, human leukocytic leukocyte antigen uh, E peptide, which is called B2M-HLA-E, which is a transgene. It's uh, installed to make the therapy invisible to the human immune system and thereby has the potential to improve the anti-tumor activity by blunting CAR T cells rejection mediated by both the patient's T cells and uh, NK cells. So this is a, a more gentler appro approach towards the immunosuppression and uh, enabling the CAR T cells to live longer uh, and be viable for a longer period of time within the body. Uh, a day earlier, uh, Caribou had announced the initiation of the dose expansion portion of CB010 antler phase 1 trial uh, in second-line patients with large B-cell lymphoma or LBCL following the recent completion of dose escalation. And uh, CB010 is an allogenic cell therapy being evaluated in patients with relapsed or refractory B-cell non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Uh, and Syed Rizvi, uh, who is Caribou's chief medical officer, said, we have heard time and again from the lymphoma community about the challenges of uh, autologous CAR Ts, such as uh, aspheresis, uh, bringing ther uh, bridging therapy, uh, long wait times for uh, manufacturing or manufacturing facilities. Uh, CB10 addresses these challenges as the therapy is manufactured from healthy donor cells and is available off the shelf for eligible clinical trial patients. Evaluating CB010 uh, in the second line setting places Caribou at the forefront of the off-the-shelf uh, cell therapy field by potentially addressing the unmet uh, needs of patients with a readily available therapeutic option at an early stage of uh, their disease. In response to these developments, Caribou stock jumped 9.3% and broke out of the long-term bear channel. Let's take a quick look at the price chart so that I can explain. Here we have the price chart for Caribou Biosciences. And as you can see, the positive news actually helped it to break out of the bear channel. And in the last uh, three days, uh, it has been above the bear channel. And also it has got um, a support out here uh, of this um, one of the uh, exponential moving average, which is the nine day exponential moving average, the green color line that I'm tracing here. Uh, it's a bit thinner, so let me see if I can make this um, line a bit thicker. Give me one second while I make this line thicker so that you can... Are you able to see it now? This is the line. So this, uh, this is a nine-day exponential moving average, which is now providing support. It was earlier a resistance, so now it has also become a support, and this line of resistance of the bear channel is now going to be a support. So there is a, there are two levels of support. And we are just at um, average uh, momentum, and MACD is bullish, so there is a positive reaction to this news from the market, in my opinion. Well, friends, that was all about Caribou Biosciences, and now on to Illumina. As you recall, our frustration with the grail uh, obsession of Illumina, Carl Icahn is now pushing the Illumina board to accept three of his directors 
and also has urged them to dispose of Grail. Of course, Illumina is resisting. So let me tell you the whole story. Uh, so uh, actually, I think um, uh, Il Grail was created by Illumina uh, through their own startup funding. Uh, Illumina invested $100 uh, million as seed capital uh, to start Grail. And there are other in, uh, investors as well, including Bill Gates. And at that time, the thought was that Grail, in its own independent uh, way, uh, would be well positioned to uh, make rapid progress in its field. But uh, around 2016, the leadership of Illumina changed, and uh, uh, Francis de Souza took over uh, as uh, CEO. And um, one of the things that he wanted to do was immediately to get uh, Grail in uh, into the uh, acquire Grail into Illumina. And for that, I think uh, they paid uh, around eight uh, billion dollars, if I'm not mistaken, uh, and that was done in a very uh, hasty manner because uh, EU uh, competition authorities had signaled that uh, uh, Illumina has to hold off uh, until they get an all clear. And there was uh, action from FTC in the US as well, uh, it's, uh, because it was felt uh, in EU that uh, if Illumina was allowed to take over Grail, then that would create a, a monopolistic situation and. Um, uh, therefore, they didn't want that to happen. However, Francis went ahead and uh, took over Grail. And now a lot of informations are coming up because as soon as Grail was taken over, Illumina share price started falling. Uh, uh, the belief is that around $50 billion have been wiped off the value of uh, Illumina after the takeover of uh, Grail. And uh, that attracted activist investor Carl Icahn to come and invest in Grail. Now he owns 1.4%. Uh, of Illumina shares, and he wants three uh, directors on the board. So initially, Carl Icahn had private meeting uh, before all of us got to know. He had private meeting with the board of Illumina uh, and the CEO, and uh, uh, his demands were countered by Illumina by saying they can offer at the most one uh, directorship. And uh, Carl Icahn had uh, agreed that um, if EU were to um, uh, refuse the appeal uh, and um, uh, he would support uh, unwinding of uh, Grail and letting it go. Uh, but uh, things didn't work out. So now the battle is out in the open, and uh, Carl Icahn has not only uh, extended his demand for uh, three directors, but also he has asked for reinstatement of the previous CEO uh, back uh, uh, as the CEO of uh, Illumina. And on part of Illumina, it has advised shareholders uh, to oppose uh, the motion from Carl Icahn. So this is a battle that's getting stronger. And at the same time, I think it's going to have a positive effect on Illumina share uh, if uh, Carl Icahn is able to get his way and uh, Grail is disposed. Because that's the opinion I had held for a long time. And I see Carl Icahn coming in there as a uh, very uh, positive um, uh, force for Illumina. Uh, so that's uh, my scoop about Illumina. Uh, and we got to watch this company carefully going forward. Uh, there could be opportunities out here. At the same time, it's um, it's possible that Carl Icahn may not succeed and he just goes away. So let us see what happens. And of course, uh, Illumina has got, uh, I think, 450 million kept in reserve uh, for penalties. And the penalties from EU is going to be 10% of worldwide revenue of uh, Grail. So uh, it, the, the stakes are very high out here. And a shareholder needs to have a strong stomach to hold on to this share because the share price is also quite high. I mean, it's not like our $5 or $10 share, it's in three digits. So uh, people have to be a bit careful. With that, I would like to bring uh, to end this video. I hope you guys uh, found some value in this video. Please let me know what you think about uh, Caribou Biosciences and Illumina. Uh, we talk about Illumina every now and then, but we don't talk much about Caribou in this channel. So I'd like to know if you own Caribou shares and if you own Illumina shares, let me know what you think about it. And uh, uh, I'll be really interested to know your perspective. Put it in the comments. Your comments also help the YouTube uh, algorithm to push our video to more viewers like yourself so that they can discover our channel. 54% of our viewers have not yet subscribed. And if you are one of them, I would request you to please subscribe today because subscription is absolutely free and you'll be helping promote your favorite channel. Thanks and have a great day. Bye for now.